The Bee Gees don't just record, they create their songs in the studio. Right. This new one's called Just In Case. It's usually a romantic song. It's, you, it's either two people or it's three people. Uh, or it could be four people, depending on uh, what mood you're in. Um, in this case, it's a situation where the girl is trying to protect herself because it's, a, it, it's really a girl's song. And in this situation, she's, she doesn't want to give her heart away. So she's, she's, it's just in case. This is not the real thing. I don't want to give myself to you. And what are you so doing on the keyboards then, Morris? How do you, how do you feel? I'm well, sort of doing an arrangement at the same time as we're going. Find sometimes. out where the heat is. And you haven't yeah. got all the words at the moment? No. no. All right, well... So well, this is, this is yeah. basically what yeah. it is. Okay. And, and from, he, from here on, what you'll hear is us scatting to right. find the melody, the right melody. Morris will very often come up with a chord we did not expect him to play. And in fact, sometimes it's something he didn't it expect usually to happens. play. <laughs> in which case, we usually kill him. And or then severely I have to, to find someone to tell me which one it was. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> was it the black ones or the white? <laughs> <laughs> just, just talk me to that one section. Um, a minor. G. G. Yeah. And then, then to D. I think it's B-flat. Was it? Well, it's another chord I've played. Into a minor. Or it could be that. Go to G minor. Yeah. All right. At some point, we establish exactly what the melody is note for note. And then when we do our lyrics, we don't detract from that melody. So we, don't, we don't change the melody to go, for, to go with certain words we may like. We religiously make the words fit the melody we've, we've pre-established. This is basically the way we always write. I mean, not, not always like this, but in terms of when we get the, the, lyric, the, the yeah. idea of the melody and the, yeah. the, the title together. We, yeah, first we look, for, we look for the core of the idea. What is the core of the song? And you're telling me this is a but just in Hello. Okay. B yes. flat minor. Yeah. Right. The, oh yeah. Yeah. That's what I said. The words that are there, how have they arrived? There are all the words there. Or are these just words? That in this case, um, it was just those first few, four lines. This is love, but just in case, I'll keep my heart in a secret place, safe under lock and key, till I know it's only me. And that thought in itself really gives is the whole message of the song. I think the verse is actually shaping up pretty good. I think it just needs to be cleared up at the end of the, the choruses. Yeah. Can you show us the bit that isn't working and tell right. what you're going to do about it? Right there, we've got to find something else, right? Yeah. Right. So what are you going to do? What are you going to do about finding something Well, we had something we actually did before, which was when we went to the G minor. Oh, yeah. That thing. Then the yeah. B, minor, B flat minor. Right, and that takes you back to the verse okay. again. And no man in yeah, yeah. that's, that's a like possibility. That. that could yeah. work. Yeah. And, and once just, we've yeah. established that, then it's ready to, to sit down and write lyrics to. The dat's always continuously running with the ideas as we yes. go down. Then when, once we get a sort of format of the idea, then we'll put it in a sort of rough sketch and take that tape with us or and make a cassette of the last or last 20 minutes of writing and uh, go to Barry's place, sit down, play it, listen to it, and then we all start uh, thinking of the, the storyline, where it's going, you know, and so forth. The important thing about uh, a, a good quality song is that you, the statement has to say everything within a few words. And I think that's what we're looking for, to say a lot in just a few words, simply, so that everybody can relate to it. Mm. And I think that's the important, that, that's, that's, I think, the key to a successful song is that everybody hears a lot in the, first, in the statement of the song. And it's not so much an intricate story as a statement uh, that everything else evolves around. Has this song started with those first four lines, then? Is that how this one started? Yes. Yeah.
Where did they come from? <laughs> well, I, it, was, it was an idea I had. And then the first reaction I got was Robin sort of saying, well, maybe it should be called Under Lock and Key. Or just and Lock and Key. That yeah, was, yeah, and we sort of argued about that for about an hour because I really felt that the whole concept was just in case. Yeah. That's really what you're talking about, somebody playing safe. And, and so I believed that that was right, you know, and, um, and Robin believed that Lock and Key was, might be better. So we argued about that for a while. And oh. we kept arguing and we came to blows. <laughs> <laughs> we came to blows. <laughs> <laughs>